Okay, let's burn those abs. 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. You've got 10 seconds to get in line. We are doing a side plank with an alternating leg raise. So you're in the side plank and then you are touching the top leg with your hand. What is this doing? It's engaging the core and it's making you work just like you would normally do if we did touch the toe abs line on the floor. But you are making this harder by holding yourself in a plank. You don't have to hold yourself on your hand. You can go down onto your elbow if you need to but what I need you to do is keep your head in line with your spine and keep a perfect straight body line slight bend in the knee and really control you've got 22 seconds left keep pushing all the way if you need to go down onto your knee and have a break then do so but please try to go all out and all the way up all the way down touch and really engage have a second when you touch where you pull those abs in and you breathe four three two last one okay let's change sides so again get your position you're either on your arms you can be lying on the floor if you're just starting out with us and touch your leg and bring it forward or you can go all out and go onto your hand so what are you doing are you in a straight body line have you pulled those abs in as tight as you can are you really breathing and making every single move work can you feel the muscles you're supposed to be working are your abs in does your back feel straight? Is your head in line with your spine? Ask yourself all of these questions. And if not, correct yourself and then go straight back into it and make sure you do it with power all the way, all the way up, all the way down. You will wobble a bit. It isn't an, an easy exercise. This is an advanced move. It takes core. It takes balance it takes every single muscle in your body to support you on your side so if you are doing this be proud of yourself you got four seconds three two last one okay the next one try and find yourself some weight this will only increase this move and make you feel it a lot more so legs are slightly wider than your hips slight bend in the knee as you can see one arm goes directly to the ceiling while the other arm comes down and touches the floor and makes a triangle in the body. Now, it's very good if you get a mirror to see yourself doing this because what I want from you is I want a flat back. So when you reach down, I want your back to be as flat as possible, not rounded. I really want you to concentrate on looking at the weight at the top, making sure that it stays facing the ceiling. That is gonna give you that feeling right the way through your abdominals and make you work really hard. So keep pushing. If you've got any kettlebells if you're using weights like me from your t-bar that is all you need to make this move count 13 seconds 12 find something to use and really go for it make sure this move is really engaging the core and your legs are slightly bent and your head is in line and you're keeping a flat back very important you've got 10 seconds and then we're going to do it on the other side so now you know what you're doing this time I want you to pull your abs in a little bit tighter and I want you to make sure that that hand really faces the ceiling and you reach as far as you can with the opposite keep going all the way down all the way up now when you go down I want you to really pull those obliques in and then when you come back up lift with the core don't lift with the weight lift with your core so you're really feeling it in the muscles you've got 30 seconds left i know that you're feeling it i know you can feel this so keep going all the way up all the way down breathe Okay, I really need you to concentrate on pulling up with your abdominals. Don't let the weight and your arms do the work. Make your abs do the work. So if you need heavier weights to make you feel this more, then increase your weight and push yourself. Nine seconds. If you want to see changes, you need to constantly be pushing yourself over those boundaries. Four, three, two, last one. Awesome job. Okay, it's time to work on your core and your balance. This is a very advanced move. For those of you that are just still working on your core, stay in your plank. For those of you that want to give this a go, make your plank. And then what you're going to do is you're going to lift one leg, take it out to the side. And then with the opposite arm, you're going to circle motion back down into the plank. So lift the leg, take it out. And then the opposite arm does a circular motion. So you are literally balancing it on one arm and one leg. This is tough. It looks really easy, but if you're pulling in your core and you've got a straight body line and you've got that bum tucked under and your head is in line with the spine and you are breathing, you will feel this. This is going to really push you. You need to pull your abs in as tight as they go to make this work. Keep going. Nine seconds. Eight. Don't lose focus. Six. Five. Four. Three. 
two, one more. Well done. Okay, Superman roll into a pipe crunch. Okay, so get yourself a mat. What you're going to do is you're going to start in a roll and then you're going to touch your toes. You're going to roll back and then lift up, roll back and touch your toes. Right, now you know the move. This is what I want to see. When you roll over, I don't want your feet or your hands to touch the floor. When you push up into your press, I want you to really engage the core, really drive and concertina them together and try and reach your toes and hold for a second. So, can you do it? Can you do it all the way without touching the floor? You've got 20 seconds left. Roll, up, hold it, roll again. Now lift up, touch, well done. I find this very difficult. This is why I add them. I always add exercises that I find difficult because then practice makes perfect. You've got five seconds left. Four, three, two, last one. Hit it again. Try for three rounds.